Hey guys, glad you guys uh, come out and see us today. Well, we've been right in the middle of the worst fishing streak I've had in a long time. We're at three days, one fish snagged. And I really don't know how we snagged it, but the 37 incher apparently is feeding with its butt fin, because that's where we got it. So it's been really, really tough here. It's, it's late July. Um, the bucktail topwater stuff is not working. Water temps are pretty warm. We had clouds this morning. We got sun right now. What we're doing is we're going out and we're taking rubber, soft plastics, tubes, joes, um, medusas, bulldogs, and we're actually getting down the weeds. It's a frustrating way to fish, okay? I'm fishing with a couple clients today, fishing with Eric and John. Hopefully they can pull it out. You gotta have long rods, stiff line, a lot of patience. And you can get these fish to go, but let me tell you, it, it's a very frustrating way to fish, but you don't see a lot of fish doing it, but the fish that move usually eat. So we're just going to grind it out, fish all day, see what happens. So hopefully I can actually do my job here and catch these guys a fish, see what happens. There you go, there you go. Good job. Is it a pike or musky? Uh, I think it's a musky. Oh yeah, it's a musky, it's a musky. Oh, nice fish, Eric. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Nice fish. Well, I'm glad you decided to come back in here. Yeah, we decided <laughs> to put the medusa on. We gotta get him in the bowl. You gotta get him in the bowl? Well, don't lose this one, okay? Shut up. <laughs> don't take sweet all. <laughs> oh, that's a big fish, Eric. That's a nice fish, it's a nice fish. Nice fish. Get him up this way. Ooh, that one's not happy. That one's not happy. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. That one was pissed. Got him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> And he's already and off, the he's off the hook. <laughs> That's a nice, uh, nice little release you got there. Way to go, bud. You know what we did? We came back in here, we're fishing these points. And what it is, there's a lot of cabbage up on there. We move way out, put the medusa on, and Eric got that fish to go. You know, we had a nice fish in here last year when these guys were up, and uh, you know, got another one to go here. So we'll pull out of the net and see if we can't uh, get some more fish. I bet. Pull her up. Nice, big old fat fish. You know, it's midsummer out here. It's the end of July. We're popping this rubber baits. We're going all through, you know, this deeper cabbage, making contact. And, you know, if you come down this fish here, you can see these things have just been eating a ton right now. Big, fat, chunky, chunky fish. You know, this one grabbed the old Medusa, a bait that Eric's learned to love. But let's get her back in the water. Oh, nice fish. Wasn't bad. Get going there, big girl. See you later. Hey. Thank you. Not bad Good for work. a not bad for a guy. <laughs> well I tell you what, like I said, what we're doing is we're just popping these medusas and these rubber baits, whether it be medusas, whether it be Joe's, whether it be bulldogs, and we're actually banging them through this cabbage. It seems like if you're not making contact, you can't get these fish to go. They're holding really tight. So I don't know. That was fun, so we gotta try that again. Let's get them.
Good there you go. Nice, 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 nice. Good job, man. Oh, that was a hook set. 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 Have you seen him yet? I haven't seen him. It's a big one. It's a big one? Yeah, sure? it's a really big one. He's right a, there. Is it a pike? No, it's a big one. Is it? He's right there. Right there. Right there. Nice fish, man. Nice fish. Exact same spot as the fish earlier. <laughs> exact same spot. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Got him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that one's almost a twin to your other one. Holy. Oh, gosh. Let me tell you what we did here. Oh, well, I tell you what, guys, this is what we did. We came back here. We got moon time. I know you may not believe in that crap, but it actually works sometimes. This time it did, and we got another fish to go. Exact same point that we were on earlier. That's the thing. Always remember, if you've got fish working in an area when it's really tough, come back to it at a prime time. We hadn't seen a fish all day. We've seen two. And somehow Eric's caught both of them. It can't be because of skill. But uh, I think it's the bait. They're eating the medusas right now. We came back here right on moon within a minute of that. And if you don't believe in it, that's fine. More fish for us. But these fish are going. So we're going to get it off and show you another fish. Hey, guys, i got to stop you here for a second. Do you see what's happening? You see what's happening? We're catching fish. We're actually putting fish in the boat, something that I haven't been too good at this week. And what we're doing is we're taking soft plastics. We're taking the tubes. We're taking the medusas. We're taking the joes. We're taking the bulldogs. And we're taking them into areas and situations that you'd traditionally be throwing bucktails in top water, extremely thick cover. And how are we getting those baits through there? What's the key to this? How are we getting not getting hung up? Well, we are getting hung up. How do you come through here though and produce getting these fish out is by using the longer rods. The longer rod is the key. When you pop that bait through, when you come in contact with the weeds, the longer the rod, the more vertical snap you're gonna get. The shorter the rod, the more you're gonna pull that bait through the weeds and actually rake it through there and catch more weeds on your lure. The long rods is the key to this situation. Also, shorter cast. Don't make the long baseball cast. Don't make the long, long bombs. What you wanna do is make short, precise cast into the weeds, still work that bait slow, get it in there, but hard pops, snaps of the rod up to get those fish to go. snags now. On the fuzzies? Yeah. There's one. There you go. Oh, nice fish, nice fish, nice fish, big fish, big fish. Christ. Oh my god, that's a big fish, big fish. Here, 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 here. Where's your... I think Ooh. we just got your man. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Holy Christ. That right there Ooh. is not a little one. That <laughs> I just seen that head pop up. Dude, that's a long one. That one just snarfed oh. the tube. Oh. All right, what we're doing again, same thing. We're out here. He's popping the tube this time. John, uh, John was throwing the tube, but we decided to let him throw the Medusa. John, that was a bad call. Anyway, um, what we're doing, it's again, we're moving on to a different part of the lake we're still hitting structure. The thing is, is we're pulling weeds off every third or fourth cast. When things get tough, when, this, when the water gets warm up north, here's the deal. These fish don't like it. They're like me, they hate it, they whine, and they hold real tight to structure. And you gotta pop those baits through there and keep pulling these, you know, keep pulling them, whether it's a tube, whether it's a joe, whether it's a medusa, whether it's something, it's gotta be soft plastic and it has to hit the stuff and you're gonna end up with some really big fish. This is not a little one. Jesus. That's a big one right there. There you go, there you go, there you go. Good job. Is that a northern? What know. do you got? The northern? I don't even know if it's a... Oh, it is a fish. It's a huge one. Is it? I think so. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's a really big one. 
Alright, I got it. Oh, oh, wait. Don't fall on the way. Don't fall on the way. Don't fall on the way. Okay. not three cast. You know, it's, we haven't been cast in more than 20 minutes after the last one, but again, same thing. I mean, these fish are just up in these weeds and we're popping these tubes, we're popping the, the medusas, anything rubber. If it's <coughs> hot water, these fish bury up and we've not had a follow today, but this is our fourth fish in the boat. It's just unbelievable. You know, and somebody's a little lucky today, apparently, but we're gonna get this one off and who knows, maybe get another one. Oh my God, guys, it was a great day. I've been needing a day like this. We finally put some fish in the boat. We had a four fish day, including one really big fish. Now, you might be saying, well, maybe it was just the day. Maybe, you know, this retrieve or these lures or this, you know, what we were doing was just, you know, it was just our day to catch them. Well, you know what? It's the conditions, guys. The conditions mean a lot. It's flat, calm, it's sunny. Fish bury in the weeds on flat, calm, sunny days. These are the traditional dog days, the days that everybody says, oh, it's tough. You can't get fish to go today. It's a tough day on the water. Not true. You've got to think outside the box here, guys. It isn't your normal top water, your bucktail days. Try making contact with the weeds, whether it be with rubber, whether it be with a crankbait. It works in all situations. So this next little clip here I'm going to show you was a day that we traditionally were getting fish on bucktails. We'd been catching fish on bucktails all week. It got hot, it got calm, it got sunny. We pulled out to the edge and see what happened. Good job, Ab. Good job. Good job. Oh. Well, guys, we finally got something to go here. What we're doing is we're out. We're, we decided to pull out. It cleared off. We pulled out. We're throwing some rubber here, some plastic, out on these brakes. The weeds are thicker. We're bouncing them through there. We moved some fish on black and orange yesterday. One this morning. He's throwing the black and orange Medusa. We got another fish. Let's see what it looks like. got another fish to go. Here's the deal. When you're faced with flat, calm, sunny conditions, think about making contact with the structure, putting a bait right in their face. The traditional topwater and bucktails might not be the answer. Whether you're a fishing guide like me, you're fishing a tournament, or out on your only vacation of the year, you got to try to put some fish in the boat. 
think outside the box, guys. Make contact with the structure, go at those fish, and pull those reluctant fish out of the weeds, out of the rock, out of the wood. No matter what it is, there's a bait out there that you can use to make contact and pull that fish from the structure. All right, guys, watch this next segment. I gotta get back on the water.